Hey, my name is Nick Valesky with the Utah State University Extension Integrated Pest Management Program. I'm here at our IPM demonstration farm and we're going to talk about cabbage loopers that can affect our brassica crops. The larval stage is a medium-sized caterpillar with a green or brownish green body. It has three pairs of true legs at the front and several pairs of pro legs along the abdomen. The caterpillar moves by arching its body and extending forward, creating a looping mo movement, which gives it the common name cabbage looper. The larvae feed on the foliage plants, creating irregular holes and chewing, the damage, and chewing damage on the leaves. Dull moths have a wingspan of approximately three to four centimeters. They have a slender body and narrow wings. The four wings of the cabbage looper moth are modeled and typically vary in color from pale brown to gray. The hind wings are lighter in color and usually plain or slightly mottled. The adult moths are nocturnal and attracted to lights. They are agile flyers and can be seen fluttering around plants and garden areas during the night. So here are some ways to manage cabbage loopers in your garden or farm. The first one is hand picking. Inspect your plants regularly and manually move, remove any cabbage loopers that you might find. Drop them into a bucket of soapy water and kill them. Encourage natural predators like birds, lace wings, ladybugs, and parasitic wasps, which feed on cabbage loopers. You could also introduce biological control agents like beneficial nematodes, which may specifically target cabbage loopers. Use floating row covers or insect netting to physically exclude cabbage loopers from accessing your plants. Practice crop rotation by avoiding planting crucifers and leafy greens in the same location for consecutive years. This helps break the life cycle of cabbage loopers and reduces their population. This method tends to be mostly effective for large-scale crucifer productions. Set up a pheromone trap to monitor adult cabbage looper moths and determine their population levels. This can help you anticipate and take action before significant damage occurs. If infestations are severe and other methods may have not been successful, you may consider using chemical insecticides labeled for cabbage loopers. Organic options include those with active ingredients like spinosad, horticultural oil, or Bacillus thuringiensis, Bt. Be cautious and follow the label instructions and safety guidelines provided by the manufacturer. If you guys have any questions about cabbage loopers or other pests that might affect our brassica crops, check out the links and resources below. Also, feel free to reach out to our USU Extension IPM program if you guys have any more questions.